Afternoon all, uh, welcome back. Um, so another little pattern for you to do today. It's another blue flash damsel. Now I've already done one of these on the previous video, but it was a more of a, a, a big bulky lure. This is a blue flash damsel with a little bit more finesse. Okay, uh, this is uh, a fly that I used to great effect on the uh, National Southern heat of the bank finals the bank qualifiers um last sunday at eleanor when the fishing gets a bit tricky this is a fly that i often fall back on um so without further ado uh the hook for this is a size 10 uh fasna um it's a f310 i believe the pattern the pattern is nice strong nymph hook and I've already got a little metallic bead on there, a little blue metallic bead on there, 3.2 mil bead on there, okay. Um, so, let's get started with this. The thread I'm going to be using is uh, a uni, uh, an olive, an ato, uh, so we'll get that better than my hook. It's just a nice, it's got a slim, tied little um, damselfly pattern, this one. And uh, it's got plenty of movement in it, but it's not a big mouthful for the trout. So when they've been a bit finicky, or they've had a bit of pressure on them, good little pattern, this one. Good little pattern. Okay, that's that caught on there. So next thing we're going to do is put the tail on. Uh, and the tail is uh, olive marabou. I believe this is a medium olive marabou. It's not too dark. It's not too light. So I'm just going to take a small pinch. I'm going to have a massive amount of this on there. Just enough to give it a bit of life. Let's just take a little pinch of that. Rip some of that off. And uh, just trim the ends up. So that it lays on the hook nicely. Let's get that nice and trimmed up. As always, um, if you enjoy my videos, uh, please uh, click like and click uh, subscribe. It's going to be down in that corner or that corner. I don't know. It depends where I end up, wouldn't it? Um, just click it and you'll get notified of my videos as they come out. It's all free. No charge. So I've got a pinch of marabou there. I'm just going to offer that up to the hook. And pop it on like so. Wind it down, back up again, nice and securely. Just like that. And it's at this stage I like to determine the length of the tail, right? We're not going to have it. It's not going to be, as I say, it's not a massive fly. So um, I'm just going to pinch this off. I suppose you've got about maybe two inches of marabou there. I reckon I'm going to somewhere around about there. Just enough to give it a bit of movement. That's lovely. Always pinching marabou. Never cut it. It gives it a nice, much nicer effect at the tail here. So blue flash damsel. We're going to go a couple of bits of blue flash in there just to give it that little bit of attraction. So this is a holographic uh, blue uh, medium tinsel and I'm just going to take a couple of pieces and offer them up to the hook. So one other side. I'm going to do this in two bits just to show you guys how to do it. Okay, I'm going to offer that up the side. I don't want it quite as long as the tail, just a little bit short. Okay, so I'm going to pinch that in and just get a couple of turns on it. Like so, that's lovely. Trim off the excess. fingers and thumbs and I want to do the same with my side as well so I'll just trim off another piece of that blue offer it up it's good and just catch it in it's on the side of the hook lovely and again trim off the excess there okay so the main body and it's going to be a slim as i've explained slim dress fly this is so the main body here is going to be made up of this stuff and it's a lovely little um uv straggle vineyards uv extra fine strand straggle in olive and it's just uh, got a little bit of life about it it's not a big straggle it's an extra fine but it just gives the fly a little bit of life so i'm going to take a bit of that and catch it in just above the tail there Bring your time thread back up to the head and up we come. Just touching turns all the way up. Just a lovely bit of life. And we're just going to stop just a fraction short of the head there, okay? Give ourselves a little gap at the top here. Just catch that in. Happy with that. And trim it off. Okay. So we had a little bit of life up this end of the, the fly here, a little bit more life in there. I've got uh, a dyed olive uh, hen cape here, okay, and I'm just going to select a feather out of there, like that. Okay, we're going to make a little forex up with this feather, we're going to have a little bit of hackle in the top here. Just gives the pattern a bit of extra fuss, a bit of extra life, 
just helps to push a bit of water without bulking it up so much. So we're only going to put a couple of turns in, so I'm just going to catch that in just behind the head there. Like so. Trim it off. And then pull that round. And we're just going to try and get a couple of wraps in there. I don't want too much, just once, twice, that's loads, plenty. And then just work your thread back up and in to secure it. Lovely. Okay. Just trim off this excess bit here. It's gone. And then we're just going to push this back. You're almost looking to bend where you are looking to bend these barbs of the uh, hen. And then just push it back there like so. And bring up and just catch it in. Now you could just finish this fly off there as is. But I like to add another little bit of something on there just to that's looking lovely. Such a lovely shape and a lovely profile, this fly, especially when it gets wet. Uh, at this stage, I am just going to put a quick whip turn in there. Like that. Just a couple of turns in there to secure. And I'm also going to put a little bit of varnish on the reserve. So, because I want that to seep into that thread there, just to secure it nice and tight. So a little dab of varnish up there, that drop in. And the same underneath the fly. Dab underneath there, lovely. Okay, let's secure that in there. Just push those hackles back. That looks really good, really, really good. And then on the neck, I'm just going to add a tiny bit, just behind there, tiny bit of light bright dubbing. Okay, and this again is just going to give it a little bit of life. I'm really only going to be using a tiny amount of this stuff, tiny, tiny amount. I'm just going to pop that on, just dub that on. Really, only want. A turn. That's fine. There we are. Two little turns there. And then we're just going to whip that. Like so. Smash it. Okay. With a dubbing brush. Just tease that out. It's a really cute little fly this is. Fish nice and steady slowly on a floater or a slow tip, even an intermediate. And I like to, when it gets hard, I like to fish these as single flies. Just the one fly. Make a point fly for a ten, of course they would, but uh, my preference is just that once. One fly. 10 foot leader or something, 12 foot leader, nothing nothing massive. And it's got me out of a jam a few times. Another little dab of varnish just to make this nice and bomb proof. And there we go. That's my version of a blue flash damsel and this uh, much, much smaller fly than I previous tied. Um, try it. Give it a go, great at Illinois, great at Chigborough, great at many of the small waters, especially this time of year onwards, when you're looking for a nice little point fly. Um, loads of movement, loads of fuss, pretty simple tie as well, doesn't take very long, but uh, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, as always, please click like, click subscribe, and um, any requests, let me know, I'll see what I can do. Thanks very much, bye-bye.